evening and welcome to evening prayer on this Friday, the 12th of November. Just a quick reminder, as I have been all week, that there will be uh, remembrance services being held in both St. Mary's and St. Thomas's on Sunday. Uh, so on Sunday, the uh, pattern is going to be 8 a.m. BCP Holy Communion, uh, which I hope to stream as well. And uh, we'll also be having our um, uh, St. Mary's, the service will be on the green. Uh, with 10 o'clock, the, uh, the uniform groups will be assembling and uh, being ready for to parade. And at 10.15, we'll start the service. At about 10 o'clock as well, uh, just before 10, sorry, uh, at St. Thomas's, they'll be gathering at the Garden of Remembrance for the parade down to St. Thomas's for a half past 10 start. Uh, so please do join. If you're coming to um, St. Mary's, um, there are orders of service in the porch at the moment, and there'll be more brought down on the day as well. So please do uh, go and collect what you need. And we look forward to seeing you wherever you go. Um, but I should hopefully be streaming uh, the Datchet service as well for those who can't make it in person. But uh, as we come together, let us pray uh, to God and let us give thanks for the day and for the week that has been. Let us pray for one another and let us give glory to him. O oh God, make speed to save us. O oh Lord, make haste to help us. Your faithful servants bless you. They make known the glory of your kingdom. Bless are you, sovereign God, our light and our salvation. She be glory and praise for ever. Now as darkness is falling, wash away our transgressions. Cleanse us by your refining fire and make us temples of your Holy Spirit. By the light of Christ, dispel the darkness of our hearts, that we may be ready to enter your kingdom, where songs of praise that ever sound. Blessed be God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Blessed be God for ever. Give me the wings of faith to rise within the veil and see. The saints above, how great their joys, how bright their glories be. Once they were mourning here below and wet their couch with tears. They wrestled hard as we do now with sins and doubts and fears. I asked them whence their victory came. They with united breath ascribed their conquest to the Lamb, their triumph to his death. They marked the footsteps that he trod, his zeal inspired their breast. And for in their incarnate God possessed the promised rest. Our glorious leaders claim our praise for his own pattern given, while the long cloud of witnesses show the same path to heaven. That this evening may be holy, good and peaceful, let us pray of one heart and mind. As our evening prayer rises before you, O God, so may your mercy come down upon us to cleanse our hearts and set us free to sing your praise, now and forever. Amen. Our first psalm for this evening is Psalm 31. Into your hands I commend my spirit. In you, O Lord, have I taken refuge. Let me never be put to shame. Deliver me in your righteousness. Incline your ear to me. Make haste to deliver me. Be my rock and my fortress. My, sorry, be my strong rock, a fortress to save me. For you are my rock and my stronghold. Guide me and lead me for your name's sake. Take me out of the net that they have laid secretly for me, for you are my strength. Into your hands I commend my spirit, for you have redeemed me, O Lord God of truth. I hate those who cling to worthless idols. I put my trust in the Lord. I will be glad and rejoice in your mercy, for you have seen my affliction and know my soul in adversity. You have not shut me up in the hand of the enemy. You have set my feet in an open place. Have mercy on me, Lord, for I am in trouble. My eyes consumed with sorrow, my soul and my body also. For my life is wasted with grief and my years with sighing. My strength fails me because of my affliction and my bones are consumed. I have become a reproach to my, all my enemies and even to my neighbours, an object of dread to my acquaintances. When they see me in the street, they flee from me. <clears throat> I, have been, I am forgotten like one that is dead out of mind. I have become like a broken vessel. For I have heard the whispering of the cloud. Fear is on every side. They scheme together against me and plot to take my life. But my trust is in you, O Lord. I have said you are my God. My times are in your hand. Deliver me from the hand of my enemy and from those who persecute me. Make your face to shine upon your servant and save me for your mercy's sake. Lord, let me not be confounded, for I have called upon you. But let the wicked be put to shame, 
Let them be silent in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence. That speaks against the righteous with arrogance, disdain and contempt. How abundant is your goodness, O Lord, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have prepared in the sight of all people, for those who put their trust in you. You hide, those, you hide them in the shelter of your presence from those who slander them. You keep them safe in your refuge from the strife of tongues. Blessed be the Lord, for he has shown me his steadfast love when I was a city besieged. I have said in my alarm, I have been cut off from the sight of your eyes. Nevertheless, you heard the voice of my prayer when I cried out to you. Love the Lord, all you his servants. For the Lord protects the faithful, but repraise to the full the proud. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait in hope for the Lord. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. As it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. Into your hands I commend my spirit. Our Old Testament reads a continuation of the book of the prophet Daniel, chapter 7, verses 1 to 14. In the first year of King Belshazzar of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions on, of his head as he laid in bed. Then he wrote down the dream. I, Daniel, saw in my vision by night the four winds of heaven stir up the great sea, and the four great beasts came out of the sea, different from one another. The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. Then, as I watched, his wings were plucked off, and it was lifted up from the ground and made to stand on two feet like a human being, and a human mind was given to it. Another beast appeared, a second one, that looked like a bear. It was raised up on one side with three tusks in its mouth along, its, um, te along with its teeth, and was told, Arise, devour many bodies. After this, as I watched, another appeared like a leopard. The beast had four wings of a bird on its back and four heads, and dominion was given to it. After this, I saw in visions by night a fourth beast, terrifying and dreadful and exceedingly strong. It had great iron teeth and was devouring, breaking in pieces, and stamping what was left with its feet. It was different from all the beasts that preceded it, and it had ten horns. I considered the horns, when another horn appeared, a small one coming up among them. To make room for it, three of the earlier horns were plucked up by the roots. These were eye, uh, There were eyes like human eyes in, these, in this horn, and a mouth speaking arrogantly. As I watched, thrones were set in place, and an ancient one took his throne. His clothes were white as snow, and the hair of his head like pure wool. His throne was fiery flame, and its wheels were burning fire. A stream of fire issued and flowed out from his presence. A thousand thousand served him, and ten thousand times ten thousand stood attending him. The court sat in judgment, and the books were opened. I watched then, because of the noise of the arrogant words that the horn was speaking, and as I watched, the beast was put to death, and his body destroyed and given over to be burned with fire. As for the rest of the beasts, their dominion was taken away, but their lives were prolonged for a season and a time. And I watched in the night vision. I saw one like a human being coming from the, with the clouds of heaven, and he came to the Ancient One and was presented before him. To him was given dominion and glory and kingship, that all the peoples, nations, and languages should serve him. His dominion is an everlasting dominion that shall not pass away. And his kingship is one that shall never be destroyed. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. We have come before the throne of God to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. We have come before God's holy mountain to the heavenly city, the, uh, to, uh, to heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. We have come before countless angels making festival, before the assembly of the firstborn citizens of heaven. We have come before God who is judge of all, before the spirits of the just made perfect. We have come before Jesus, the mediator of the new covenant. We have received a kingdom that cannot be shaken. So let us give thanks and offer to God acceptable worship, full of reverence and awe, for our God is a consuming fire. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. We have come before the throne of God, to share in the inheritance of the saints in light. Our New Testament reading is a continuation of the book of Revelation, chapter 9, verses 1 to 12. And the fifth angel blew his trumpet, and I saw a star that had fallen from earth to heaven, 
uh, sorry, heaven to earth, and he was given the key to the shaft of the bottomless pit. He opened the shaft of the bottomless pit, and from the shaft rose smoke like the smoke of a great furnace, and the sun and the air were darkened with the smoke from that shaft. Then from the smoke came locusts of the earth, and they were given authority, like the authority of scorpions on the earth. They were told not to damage the grass or earth or any green growth or, or any tree, but only those people who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. They were allowed to torture them for five months, but not to kill them. And their torture was like the torture of a scorpion when it stings someone. And in those days, people will seek death, but will not find it. They will long to die, but death will flee from them. In appearance, the locusts were like horses equipped for battle. On their heads were what looked like crowns of gold. Their faces were like human faces, their hair like a woman's hair, and their teeth like a lion's teeth. They had scales like iron breastplates, and the noise of their wings was like the noise of many chariots with horses rushing into battle. They had tails like scorpions with stings, and their tail is the power to harm people for five months. They had a king over them. Um, they have a king over them, the angel of the bottomless pit. His name in Hebrew is Abaddon, and in Greek it is called Apollonie. The first word passed, and there are still two more two woes to come. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and ask to receive me with glory. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and ask to receive me with glory. For I am always with you, for you hold me by my right hand, and ask to receive me with glory. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, you will guide me with your counsel and ask to receive me with glory. The righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Saviour. He has looked with favour on his low servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him from generation to generation. He has shown strength with his arm, and has scattered the proud in their conceit, casting down the mighty from their thrones and lifting up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things, and sent the rich away empty. He has come to the aid of his servant Israel to remember his promise of mercy, the promise made to our ancestors, to Abraham and his children forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was beginning, is now, and shall be forever. Amen. The righteous will shine like the sun in the kingdom of their Father. So let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give thanks for the day that has been. We thank you that all you've done with us and through us. We thank you that you have shown us the path that we should follow. We're sorry when we have failed to do all that you have asked of us. Give us the strength, Lord, to carry on to do what needs to be done. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for all being affected by the coronavirus. We pray for those who are sick at this time, for those who are suffering with long COVID, for those who are in need of hospitalization, and for those who have died. We pray, Lord, that you would watch over all who are caring for others. And we pray especially for all staff who are working for the NHS. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as we come to a weekend of remembrance, we pray for all who are working for the armed services, for those who are working to ensure our freedom and liberty, for those who are seeking to do good, for those who are trapped in places of conflict and war, for those who are subject to violence, to oppression, to vilification. For those who are persecuted for their gender, their ethnicity, their faith or any other reason. We pray, Lord, for an end to war. We pray for a time when all may live in harmony one with another. And we pray, Lord, that you would watch over those who struggle. Help us to work within our capacity that we may show kindness to those who are in need. We pray for all who are weighing upon our minds. 
Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as COP26 has closed, we pray for all who are placed in positions of authority, that they may do what is right and just for the planet and for the people. You have given us stewardship over your creation. Help us always to be mindful of what we do, of the effect it has on this planet. May we be good and thoughtful stewards of your creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for those who are sick in mind, body and spirit. We pray for those who are known to us. We pray especially by name for Davy, Jilly, Megan, Ella, Mary, Tina, Robert, David, Peter, Robert, Rose, Bailey, Sarah, Gwenna, David and Helen. We pray too, Lord, for those who are known to you alone, for those who are in need of your comfort. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious Lord, we pray that you would keep us safe over this night and this weekend. We pray for all who will gather to remember and for those who are unable to leave their homes. We pray for those who have survived war and who are struggling with PTSD or any other issues. We pray, Lord, that you would watch over all. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Almighty Father, whose will is to restore all things in your beloved Son, the King of all, govern the hearts and minds of those in authority and bring the families of the nations divided and torn apart by the ravages of sin to be subject to his just and gentle rule who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and forever. Amen. Unite our prayers with the whole company of heaven. Let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory for ever and ever. Amen. May Christ who has opened the, ki opened the kingdom of heaven bring us to reign with him in glory. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please do join me on Sunday at 8am for BCP Holy Communion, which should also be streamed online. And then at um, 10 to 10, we will be gathering at um, the, wall, uh, the Garden Remembrance at St. Thomas's. Uh, to process down for half past ten to um, begin the act of remembrance at St. Thomas's, where St. Mary's at ten o'clock, the uniform groups will be forming up, 10.15 the service will start uh, for the act of remembrance at, um, uh, sorry, at that ship. So yes, please do join for any of those. Um, like I said, the order of the service are available in the porch um, now, so please do come and collect them um, so you don't have to try and do a mad rush uh, at the last second, but there will be plenty available uh, both between now and uh, and on the morning. Until we see each other again, God bless. Stay safe. Have a good evening and a very good weekend.